Hello again, it's David with the Corby Adventure. I'm going to try to do a video today, but the wind is just, uh, I'm sorry, making it impossible. Now you can see I cleaned up a little bit, but um, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without the wind. Um, so maybe it's just one of those days. Um, so this is uh, test video number three, and I'm going to try to hold it way out there. Hopefully you can hear me, and the wind's not too bad, okay? And I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to show you a couple things I was going to show you before. The corgis are all around me down here at the, um, in my driveway. And I want to really, you know, say thank you to um, my new subscribers. I have 22 of you guys, or 24 now, um, last time I looked. And I'm just real excited about that. Um, I'm overwhelmed. It's, it's kind of cool. And um, I'm going to try to do these videos every other day or so. And things are moving forward on the house, so this is really good news. Um, all the inspections and all the stuff I had to get done with these um, contractors, it's just, just crazy, you know, what you got to go through to sell a house these days. And, um, well, I'm about five weeks out from being able to purchase the RV. So I found one I like. It's a 2000, um, 2000 Fleetwood Discovery diesel pusher, 38 foot, has two slides, 80,000 miles, one owner, um, it's a great looking coach, it's up in Tampa, so on, on around the 5th of um, December, friends of mine is going to drive me up there and we may put a deposit on it if everything goes well. I'm going to have a, a <coughs> RV diesel mechanic guy come up there and look at it for me. I think they're going to charge, um, there's the corgis, I think they're going to charge, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks, which is well worth it to have it checked out, but um, anyways, I'm going to turn this around while I talk so you can see what I was going to show you, and there's that crazy water wheel. Now, also on some ideas, um, I'm thinking about the name, um, the Corgi Adventures, of doing the RVing Corgis Adventures, so I could get on... You know, so it pulls up when you're under the RVing name. So let me know what you think about the name, about the RV Corgi's Adventures. And, um, there's, there's Pebbles on this still. Saves her life. See, don't stay still. Get down, baby girl. There's Yogi. And, um, there's the water wheel. So I made this. And it's just a box I made out of treated pine. Water comes out of there. Falls into those buckets. Little clay pots. You can buy those at any place, Walmart. And I made that box down there and siliconed it for waterproofing. And I put it on that board. It's funny, it's been running for about, you know, on and off when I plug it in. It's been working for quite a while. I've had to replace some of the pots, as you can see. But this wind noise is really, I tried to do a video earlier today, and the wind noise is just, you couldn't even hear me. So I am looking at a, a 2000 Fleetwood Discovery Class A coach, and um, I hopefully it goes, you know, goes well. And I can get there, and we can, there's Bambi. Yeah, she's the, she's one, she's the most mellow one. There's Bambi. And um, if all goes well, and that guy still has that coach, and um, he happens to be a doctor, and um, which is kind of cool. So um, he says he's going to be too busy to show it till then anyway, so hopefully I can get up there before somebody else gets it. But anyways, um, so I'm, I'm excited about that part. I'm excited about, um, I already have 22 subscribers, and I had, I don't know, about 150 views of my website. So this is uh, Corgi Video test number three and the Corgi's adventures are continuing. So any ideas about a channel name? Um, the Corgi Adventures obviously doesn't bring up RVing per se so maybe I'll call it the RVing Corgi Adventures or the Corgi's that are RVing <laughs> something if you guys think of a name. and. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm getting a diesel pusher, so I know some people are going to say good and bad about that, but um, I really think that's, you know, 
what's best. Hey, Yogi. Um, in the long run. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I uh, appreciate you guys uh, subscribing. Uh, thanks again to Chris and G's Travels, Pneumatic Fanatic, and all you other guys out there that are befriending me. And um, I'm going to be trying to follow a lot of others out there as well. And um, I just feel like it's so great that I'm not going to be alone out there. And, um, you know, just... I'm just getting more and more excited about this um, not being landlocked. After all this stuff I got to go through to sell this home that I like so much, oh, I mean, I tell you, it's been brutal. It has been brutal. You know, they want the roof done, and they want some plumbing done, and some electrical done, and, you know, got to pass all these inspections, you know, so it's just, you know, yeah, I'm ready. So take care, everybody. God bless, and, um, safe travels for those of you that are already out there and um, and I know I'm looking forward to it and you know someday we're going to meet up with some of you guys I'm sure and um, I'm looking forward to the adventure so this is going to be really uh, uh, an interesting five weeks and um, God bless everybody see you later bye bye